Hello, welcome to the session of Manufacturing Technology Practicals. So in today's practical, we are going to perform the arc welding process. So before starting our practical performance, first of all, we have to know that what do you mean by welding? So welding is a permanent metal joining process. It means we can make a permanent joint with help of the welding. So welding is a fantastic process which can be used for joining of two parts. But here one thing is very important with help of the heat we can melt our metal and combine the two parts also in some cases we are using the pressure as well as filler material so today we are going to discuss the process of the arc welding so first of all we have to discuss the principle of the welding as well as arc welding it means how we can generate the heat in case of arc welding or in other language we can say that how we can make a permanent joint so here in case of the arc welding we are using the supply of the electricity it means here we are using the electricity and due to this arc is generated and due to this heat we can melt our metal and we can just combine our two metal parts so there are various type of arc weldings so in case of the arc welding just remember arc is generated now what do you mean by arc arc is nothing but it is a bundle of energy so when we are talking about the different types of the arc welding metal arc welding is there then tungsten inert gas welding that is known as a TIG welding TIG metal inert gas welding MIG welding MIG plasma arc welding that is PAW that is uh, with help of the plasma and then after submerge arc welding that is SAW so this this all types of weldings are under category of the arc welding it means here in all this type of weldings arc is generated and arc is nothing but it is the bundle of energy so uh, we can say that with help of the electricity arc is generated and due to the arc our metals can be melted and due to this melting we can make a permanent joint so this is our purpose in the arc welding process so let us discuss the metal arc welding practical setup construction so before performing the practical we have to know the each and every component detail in this practical apparatus so in the metal arc welding process we have to generate the heat so let us discuss the various components or say construction detail of our metal arc welding setup so for the generating the heat it is obvious that we have to use some power source so here as mentioned in this image here this is our construction detail of the whole setup that is for the metal arc welding so as the name suggests metal arc welding here we are using the metal electrode right and here arc is also mentioned in this image so arc is nothing but it is the spontaneous release of the energy and due to this energy heat is generated so we require some electrode holder that is also mentioned in this image and uh, with help of some power source that is uh, AC or DC type power source just we can generate the heat it means when we switch on our power source and when we just apply the electrode with help of some tool holder arc is generated and due to this arc our metals can be melted due to the high temperature so this is the overall construction detail of our metal arc welding so here we require the electrode we require the welding machine it means our power source ac or dc and also we require some electrode holder for holding our electrode right so here electrode is very important component in any arc welding so electrode is nothing but it is the metal road so electrodes are used for transferring your electrical energy right and by just uh, contact or so just by making the contact 
of your electrode with your workpiece you can generate the arc so here one thing is very important we have to connect positive and negative terminal of our circuit to the workpiece and electrode right so here as per our discussion we have to connect our positive and negative terminal to the workpiece and electrode so here before performing our practical which are the important components so as per our discussion in this construction of the metal arc welding here the important components are the first important component of the metal arc welding is the electrode so here we are using the electrode for transferring the electricity as well as for generating the stable arc so arc generation is very important and due to this arc heat is generated so electrode is used for generating the arc so at the end of the electrode your arc is generated right so here so for that here we are using that power source and as per our discussion we have to connect our negative terminal with uh, your work material or workpiece and your positive terminal with your electrode right so here with help of the power source we can just develop or say we can generate the heat we can say that right so we have to connect our positive and negative terminal with the workpiece and electrode respectively so this is our power source that we are using in case of our metal arc welding so this is the dc inverter type power source so there are many power sources type available like ac inverter dc inverter generator so here we are using the dc inverter as a power source right so here we are using this type of power source for generating the stable arc so here as mentioned in this image electrode is used so here mild steel coated electrode is used that is having a code of e6013 so electrode coding is very important and by this coding just we can be familiar with the different type of electrode so size of this electrode is also mentioned that is having a length of 350 mm so here just by reading the code that is e6013 we can understand that this type of electrode is having a coating and the coating of this electrode is a rutile type coating so our electrode is having a rutile coating and for this particular electrode when you check the properties just you can read this properties for that particular electrode so elect based on the electrode coding we can understand the different types of electrode as well as different properties of the electrode so let us discuss our practical working of our metal arc welding setup so here all you have to do is generate the heat with help of the arc and with help of this heat we can join our two metals right so in this practical working of the metal arc we have to arrange our circuit it means we have to uh, use our power source uh, we need our metal plates that are to be joined and uh, also we have to use the electrode and with help of this electrode we can generate the arc so we need the electrode holder so in the electrode holder we are just holding our electrode and just by uh, forming the arc or so just by generating the arc at the end of the electrode and by using this arc we can generate the heat so for that here here uh, in the, our welding shop uh, we are discussing our practical working of our metal arc welding setup right so this is our welding shop and in this welding shop we are going to perform our welding that is under category of arc welding and our process is a metal arc so in the metal arc welding for example we are going to join two plates that is of the iron plate so as per our discussion we have to use the safety equipments so just by switch on this setup we can start our practical working of metal arc welding so first of all we have to set the current that is around in range of 70 to 80 ampere so just by this rotating the knob we can set the current and after that with all the safety equipments we can start our practical working of the metal arc welding process so here as you can see here just by 
touching our electrode with our plate we can start or so we can uh, generate our arc and due to this arc we can generate the heat so here uh, as mentioned in this video you can easily check the electrode as well as the electrode holder and due to this arc generation here tremendous amount of heat is generated and due to this heat both of the plates can be melted and due to this melting our permanent joint can be made at the junction of both of the plates right so here we are using the electrode holder for holding the electrode and here we are using the metal electrode so here after this welding process just by doing the inspection just you can check this a welding that is generated and just by chipping hammer just you can remove the excess weld material so here we are making this type of butt joint for the iron plate so this is how we can perform the metal arc welding for joining two metal plates thank you all of you